Hi, it's uh, Tim from Cradleos, and today we're going to make a sign for a kid's door. Okay, so um, we're going to make a sign for a kid's door. Uh, we'll just move over here into Corel Draw because that's the program we're going to start using for it. And uh, here's Corel open already. What we'll do is we'll go up here into this top corner and we'll just um, open up this uh, new document. Uh, we'll call this one, uh, we'll just write uh, use Joshua. Joshua's room. And we're just making the uh, laser bed to be 457 wide by 305 high. Uh, and that's just to be for the, the size of the laser bed. So just press OK. Wait for this to open up. Eventually. There we go, now she's open. So what we can do is start off by getting this text tool and we just type out Joshua. And we're doing a separate one, room. See this one in all capitals, I think. Um, we'll just bring these up a little bit bigger so you can see them. Like this, move them over to the side. And I'll just press on, actually I'll just press on the select tool and I'll select both of these. And then I'll select the text at the top up here. And that's not going to work. Um, what we might do, we'll just find a nice text here, and we need to make sure we've got something that's going to do those little marks on there as well. Um, what sort of text? We won't make it too like that, we'll just keep it a little bit more scripty. So we might use... There we go. So if we use something like that, um, might even change that bottom one because I don't really like the way that looks a little bit. So we'll just change it to uh, flange, I think. A little bit of a Thomas thing going on with it. Move that up into there like that. And that's looking pretty good there like that. I think everything's going to stay attached. Everything will be really nice. Just got to move that apostrophe down. So to do this, we'll figure out the size that we're going to need it at. So I'm guessing that the size will be, um, just say we make it about 200 mil wide. So just select that off. So that way it keeps it in proportion. And we'll change this over to 200. Press enter. And that gets it up to the size that we need. So now we're at this size, what we'll do is we'll grab this tool here and we'll find a nice straighter area. So which is somewhere around here to show the thickness of the thinnest part, which is gonna be around that, which would be about 1.9 mil. Uh, we could probably just increase it by a tiny bit. It's just 1.9 will probably still make it okay, but we should actually increase it a little bit because but the thickness of the board is going to be three mil. So to keep that in order, we'll just move that up by the 0.3, which will give us plenty of room now. If we look at it now, 2.3. So that's plenty thick enough. And what I'll do is I'll break those apart. And just to show off that outside curve now, it's, that's that curve that we just added extra to it. So if I delete that text in the middle of it, so now we're just left with just that outside part. Um, what I can do is attach this apostrophe. So if I select the um, this shape tool here, select on this, 
And whereabouts should we attach it? That's not going to look too odd. Um, well, we could extend that up a little bit higher and just let that go to it. You might actually do that. We'll grab all of these ones. We'll move them up just a little bit. Not too far to not look too odd. Something like that. Then we can grab these ones. Just select all those. Move this down. And then zoom in nice and close. And we'll just put a node on all these points here. Select that one in the middle, press delete. Select that one, press delete. That one and delete. And now we just select those two and join it using this tool up here. And then select those two and join them. And that should keep it all fairly close in order. Uh, so now the only other part would be on how we're going to hang it which I'd say what you'd want to do is just put a little bit of tape in behind these um, and then you just hang them uh, you just tape it to the to the room to the door like that so all we need to do now is select both of these press combine now that's all one unit so if I uh, right click on this red and then left click on the clear the fill and then now we're just left with just the outline and that's what's going to get cut out So there you go. So that's it for today. Um, it was nice and simple. All it was is just a um, joining up a couple of words uh, for a kid's door room. All right. If you like this, please comment and uh, subscribe. Thank you.